Welcome to the celebration of intellect, innovation and ingenuity. We proudly present the winners of the Smart India Hackathon 2023 on this exclusive show. Today, we are going to meet a group of youngsters who have found ways to make the learning fun and interactive through their high quality educational games. So I'd like to welcome Santo and his team to this show. Hi Santo, uh, how are you doing? Please introduce yourself and your team. Uh, hello sir, thanks a lot sir for uh, inviting me to this uh, place, uh, meeting. So basically I am uh, Santo Sunny, uh, the team GDA team leader basically. So here is Meet Satra and there's Desmond Anthony, Surat Shinde, Carol Lobo and Brunali Tamanko. So basically we have built uh, educational games for the students to play. That's our uh, main problem statement for this. So yeah. how, as a team, did you all get together? It was because of the problem statement that you find found, you know, all of them were interested in one particular uh, subject or was there some other way you guys got together and, you know, started working on this? So I'll, I'll introduce uh, exactly how we got together. Actually, I and Santo, myself, Meet uh, and Santo, we are from the fourth year. I'm from the artificial intelligence department and he's from ECS department, we are friends. And uh, everyone else, Desmond, Suraj, uh, the Desmond and Suraj are from third year engineering and Carol and Brunali are from second year engineering. We wanted a, a mixture of every uh, you know age group so that the team is equally divided into equal branches and age groups. And sir, uh, Santo here had also founded a council in our uh, college that was GDF. Uh, he basically was uh, training students into game development and so we all knew about him and that's how we approached him for this problem statement. Okay, great. So uh, it was like, you know, a very good and balanced team to begin yeah. with. So no wonder you went on to win the competition and uh, make a very good mark there. So great. So now let's talk about the problem statement here. The problem itself. What is the problem in terms of, you know, say education or learning processes? I mean, learning processes have, have really been tough over the period of years as we all have you know grown up and studied. So, uh, you guys wanted to make it interesting, you guys wanted to make it lighter. What was the aim behind it and what problem did you see in the entire learning processes that you see around yourself? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, basically, uh, we are trying to eradicate road learning, which is currently going on in the current education system. So, we are replacing it with the new uh, good models that we are basically building up. So, yeah, I will hand over to Desmond. He will entirely pitch up what exactly we are doing. Uh, sir, so our problem statement that we selected was student innovation and our problem statement wanted us to come up with a digital tool that helps students learn better, effectively, efficiently and comfortably. So the first step we did for this was actually going and talking to students and figuring out what their issues were. And we figured out that the learning as of now in classrooms wasn't any more fun for them. It wasn't, it was basically rote learning where they're going learning through what is there in the textbooks and not really actually understanding the concepts and being able to visualize it properly. And because of that, they were losing interest in studies. So based on this, and so we decided to come up with something that all students thought was fun. And the obvious answer to that was games. So because of that, we decided to make educational games for them that was solely based on the syllabus. And it would help them visualize the concepts that they were learning in classrooms and engage with them more so that the next time they would sit in a classroom and learn the same concepts, they could imagine it clearly, visualize it clearly and have a connect with what is really happening and what they are learning in the textbooks. Okay, great. So, you know, uh, this is something which we all can relate to who have all grown up and studied through these, you know, all these classes from school till college and till whatever level. We all can obviously relate to, you know, we all need some, uh, you know, some really interesting way to absorb knowledge. And you guys thought you'll work on that. Wonderful. So I can't wait to see how exactly you have done this. So can you straight away come to the solution part of it? What what exactly have you created? Uh, sir, so basically uh, we had a solar exploration uh, simulation game that we had built. Uh, in this, the students, uh, so this was aimed for students from third to sixth grade. It helped them uh, basically imagine and experience what it is to be in outer space and to see how planets revolve around each other. They could learn about uh, different planets, their uh, facts about different planets, have an immersive experience and really be there and experience how it is. So we uh, built a high graphics game 
that had hyper realistic models of different uh, solar uh, objects so we'll just show you a quick demo of what we have built for the uh, competition sure yeah here's a small trailer of what actually is i will also show you the whole uh, actual game I'll just present the screen Okay, that uh, looked very interesting. Uh, so, can you please explain what exactly was that? Like, it's it seemed like a package, uh, some video transitions happening, and then I saw something like a quiz also. So, what kind of a package is this? Uh, once you've explained this, then we can go down to you know and understand how this exactly works. The entire game works. Uh, sir, so this uh, the video that you showed. It uh, basically showed uh, the different stages of our prototype building from our initial stages to where we are now currently. It showed how we uh, modeled different planets and the basically the environment around it. It also showed how we are integrating quizzes that the teachers can monitor, and based on these quizzes, the teachers can also create a personalized report of each student. So the entire game, it was uh, summarized basically into a fifty-second short video. Okay, so what we just saw was kind of a trailer of the entire thing that you have created. So wonderful. I mean, if the trailer was that good, I'm really keen to uh, see the whole part of it, the entire game, how it works, how it really unfolds. So can we have that, please? Venus is orbit is smaller than that of Earth, and thus can we so, see uh, the sun. So so basically, we have begun the game. Now, as you can see, as the game has started, the facts are popping up. These facts are regarding the planets of solar system. But currently, we are current or uh, closer to the Venus planet, so the facts are regarding Venus. Now, as as we revolve around Venus planets, the facts regarding the Venus will pop up, as you can see. Uh, sir, also the child can uh, basically navigate around the environment of Venus using the controls. So, like uh, AWSD, the child uses for for playing games. He can move around the spaceship, and you can see how beautiful the graphics are designed. Uh, the spaceship, the animation, the motion, everything. And uh, as soon as we go closer to the planet, in the planet there are quizzes regarding uh, based on the facts they they saw before. So our game exactly tracks their recall time and how accurate the child is how he is able to uh, you know remember the facts and quizzes etc so we can see now as the spaceship is a spaceship has basically landed on the planet and now the student has the opportunity to answer these quizzes how many moons does venus have so we'll answer this zero venus has uh, venus doesn't have moon so like venus orbit is smaller than which planet Earth. So, like this, the student can answer all the quizzes, and then after he answers all the uh, quizzes on the first planet, he moves on to the second planet. So now we are near Earth, and this is how the uh, environment looks around Earth. And now there will be facts popped up about Earth, and we can also see the moon uh, rotating around Earth. These are really informative facts that students actually need to understand and need to remember. So, as you can see, we have landed on the Earth, and now quiz is re related to the Earth planet. Yeah. Now we have moved towards the next planet. Mars is the fourth planet, so basically facts are popping up. 
So, so basically, this is the entire game that we built for uh, in the 36-hour hackathon. So that was quite a wonderful journey. You were turning the kids into astronauts, where they travel themselves and you know move around the planets and everything. That sounds pretty interesting and wonderful. So, uh, what all has gone into you know making of this particular game? What all resources were put into this? What all uh, knowledge base was uh, shared or uh, you know used in particular this particular you know effort? Most of the time, uh, we went into the graphic designing in the Unreal Engine. Uh, we developed the whole game in the Unreal Engine. We imported the, uh, all the objects, all the planets, and all the movements are done in uh, Unreal Engine itself. So the main software which we are dependent on is Unreal Engine. Have you thought about you know mapping this to the curriculum also? Sir, so we have uh, so uh, for the hackathon, uh, the mentors over there and the judges over there had uh, instructed us to do the same. They wanted us to integrate an entire website where students could go, they could search for the games related to their syllabus, and also the teachers could have a portal where they could see how their students are performing and how uh, and the basically it, it was all represented in a graphical view. So we have a, a website also where we would be. Uh, putting different games based on the syllabus that the students are learning in class. So it will be completely mapped to the syllabus that they are learning in the classrooms. So it makes basically uh, Indian education oriented, the whole software. So, so basically, uh, if, I, if I say that uh, the entire package that you are going to offer in the future also, that will be somehow, you know, supplementing the uh, curricula yes. or supplementing the syllabus which any students, you know, any of yes, them will be so. Uh, we also have two other games in development. One is Virtual Zoo. Basically, you land in an environment and you can uh, go around and experience different flora and fauna around you. You can learn about their uh, their basically uh, biology. You can study their scientific names. You can study the different characteristics. So this game we've developed for students from 7th to 9th, depending upon which board you're studying in. The other game that we have also, uh, that is currently in development, is the life of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. The entire life story of Satrapati Shivaji Maharaj is basically experienced through the game so that students can have much more interaction to what they are studying in their history textbooks. Okay, so the next thing that comes to my mind is about, you know, uh, the similar concepts uh, floating around in the world or in the country. So are there any similar platforms which uh, work the way your platform works right now? Uh, so right now there are no syllabus oriented. So we are our main focus is on syllabus only. So so we are not trying to eradicate the education system, but this is an add-on to it. Okay, so you are basically adding on to whatever is there instead of trying to you know change it to the core. That's nice. I mean that is what is needed in fact. So if I may ask, uh, what are the future plans? Uh, how do you want to take this forward? Uh, so uh, basically, in the near future, we are trying to first of all make a like host workshop in the schools and uh, you know institutes of this game, uh, this game Ashtagra, which will you know get an idea of school teachers, students will get an idea about the basic game, and after that we'll uh, push into the syllabus make game making. And uh, as Des Desmond said, we already have a website where teachers can log in and check individual student performances. And we have also included AI and machine learning algorithms to check the students' performance. Uh, sir, so uh, basically the main issue we are so, uh, facing right now is schools in India are not equipped with such high uh, graphic intensive PCs. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to push our games onto the cloud gaming servers so that students won't need such high-end PCs to run their games. They will just need a, uh, a normal desktop with a stable internet connection and a good web browser and they can uh, access these games from anywhere. So that is our next uh, goal, basically. Okay, so have you done any preliminary survey with the schools in terms of you know checking the acceptance level of this particular uh, platform of yours? So, so we've already spoken to around 100 students regarding this idea about gamifying education, and they all absolutely love it. We've already pitched to a couple of schools after we won our SIH hackathon. And we've got great response from them. And starting from almost next uh, Feb, we'll be uh, organizing workshops and demo workshops so that students and teachers can get a grasp of how all of this will work. And they'll get a hands-on experience on our game directly on uh, starting from February. 
Okay, so uh, I mean, going by what you are sharing right now in terms of the future plans, it seems like you know you want to develop this into a tangible business. So, is there a plan in terms of you know uh, by when can you can you reach what particular stage? Some kind of a mapping you've done in that regard. Uh, sir, so as of right now, uh, we want to develop our game end to end by the end of this academic year, and by the start of next academic year, that is June July. We'll be pushing these games into uh, schools. So how this will work is: suppose there are five science lectures in a week for a student. Out of these five, four will be uh, theoretical, as it uh, happens right now. And one of those, we'll be organizing a workshop in schools where our uh, team will be present. They'll give a small intro of the game that the students will be playing. And then after a ten-minute intro, the students will be uh, actually getting a hands-on experience on. how uh, on the entire game with personal uh, pcs so our goal is to be able to integrate this into schools by the start of next academic year okay great so what change do you think you will be able to bring about in the education scenario in the way uh, things are taught in the pedagogy uh, side of that education uh so basically we are like uh, revolutionizing the new educational policy also prime minister narendra modi in told about the national education policy so we are basically adapting to what uh, he had told about uh, to educate new and implement new software tools so that students may learn something new and uh, get a interactive view of what actual the product is sir also the main key point that we are trying to bring about is generating more interest in studies for students because the more they visualize the more fun they are having while studying the more interest they will uh, generate towards studies and it won't become any more a tedious and a boring task it will become something that is fun for them something that is enjoyable for them and we hope that because of this more and more students uh, are excited to come to school and excited to participate in uh, learning activities i think very rightly put if you are able to make learning fun if you are able to make learning interesting then more and more people more and more students will you know actually fall in love with the process of learning and what they learn so that's really uh, i mean you are bang on the mark i would say so i wish you all the best uh, because what you have come up with something really good and i hope this you know sees the light of the day in terms of a big venture and benefits lots and lots of students across the country and maybe at a future point across the globe So uh, we wish you all the best guys and uh, congratulations for your winning the 2023 hackathon and uh, all the best for the future endeavor that you are about to you know uh, start so let's see let's hope that uh, it turns out good and benefits everyone congratulations from my side thank, thank you so, so much, much sir thank, thank you so, so much, much for your time and thanks for joining today so that was uh, uh, the wonderful young minds who have you know taken it upon themselves to transform the education scenario of the country by bringing in educative and you know interesting games so this is uh, really a remarkable innovation these youngsters prove that it's time to celebrate innovation embrace the future and witness the unfolding of technological excellence that we uh, we can shape the the destiny of our nation we'll be back with some more path breaking ideas till then goodbye